The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, Seattle Mariners vs. New York Yankees, Tampa Bay Rays vs. Baltimore Orioles New York Mets vs. Philadelphia Phillies, Boston Red Sox vs. Toronto Blue Jays and Detroit Tigers vs. Cleveland Indians, which are happening on Sunday, August 8, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified, as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Seattle Mariners vs New York Yankees. There's no sugarcoating the fact that this has been a nightmare series for the Mariners. This has looked nothing like the team that marched into Tropicana Field and knocked off the Al East leading Tampa Bay Rays on their home field. But they are good enough to not get swept. The last two meetings with the Yankees were very winnable games, but the Mariners have continued to fall flat at the most inopportune times. They'll finish the job this time around with a rookie, Luis Gill, starting on the mound for New York. Look, I get all of the love and excitement for his six-inning shutout against the Baltimore Orioles, but the Mariners are clearly stiffer opposition for a young player that's going to have growing pains on the mound. It's inevitable. You say Kikuchi let the Mariners down on the mound in the last head-to-head -head meeting between the two teams, but he's still pitching at his best on the road this season. He's throwing a 3.34 ERA with a 5-2 record away from his home building. Throw in the fact that the Yankees are hit and miss offensively, even with the offensive star power, and it beams a spotlight of hope on the Mariners. The Seattle Mariners are struggling offensively as they are currently 27th in the majors with a .679 ops, which is also the second lowest in the American League. This team does get base hits as their .222 batting average is the lowest out of all 30 teams. Seattle is getting runners across the plate, as in their last 14 games, they are averaging 5 runs a night. The Mariners are led offensively by right fielder Mitch Hanager as he has an .805 ops this season with 25 home runs and 65 RBI. If the Mariners can figure out how to be a better hitting team, they will make some noise down the stretch. My betting advice for that game is to pick Seattle Mariners. Tampa Bay Rays vs Baltimore Orioles. Tampa Bay has feasted on the Orioles this season. They have won 10 of the 11 meetings. They have averaged a remarkable 7.7 .7 runs in those 11 bouts. The offensive scoring barrage will resume against Orioles starter Jorge Lopez who filed a terrible 7.20 ERA in July and owns a subpar 4.86 career ERA against Tampa Bay. Furthermore, while Michael Wacha is no ace, he has allowed three or fewer runs in two out of his last three starts overall. Michael Wacha, 2-3 ERA 1.38 whip, takes the hill in this series finale, and he was lit up in his last start giving up six runs on eight hits in four innings in an 8-2 loss to the New York Yankees. The Rays also lost his previous start, where he only gave up one run, while they had won his three starts before that. Wacha's lone start against the Orioles was on July 21 at home, where he gave up three runs in five innings in a Tampa Bay win. Jorge Lopez will make his 23rd start of the season in the series finale. Lopez was terrific in his previous start, holding the Yankees to one run in six frames in a 7-1 win to improve his record to 3-12 on the season. The veteran right-hander often has poor command and enters with an awful 5.91 ERA and a 1.65 whip in 102 innings of work. He conceded 5 runs in 4.2 innings in his only bout against Tampa Bay this season and is 0-3 with a 4.86 ERA in 16.2 career innings. Baltimore continues to struggle to win games due to the pitching. They rank last in the bigs in ERA and whip. The offense has displayed potential and they were able to collect 13 runs in the previous 3 game series against this Rays team. My betting advice for that game is to pick Tampa Bay Rays minus 1.5. New York Mets vs Philadelphia Phillies. Walker has seen Philadelphia three times this season, going 0-0 with a 3.52 ERA in those matchups. However, he's in the midst of his worst stretch of the season and has had problems with his command as of late. 
Walker has given up 20 runs over his last four starts, hosting a 12.00 ERA, with seven home runs allowed during that span. Philadelphia has a chance to widen the gap in the division race and should be able to do so with Wheeler on the mound here. The Mets struggled over the past week and they've lost five of their last six games. They will try to put an end to their slump with a win over the Phillies, which will give them their second win in their last seven games and the division lead. Philadelphia is scheduled to counter with right-handed ace Zach Wheeler, who is in the midst of a breakout season in Philadelphia. In 22 starts, the 31-year-old is 9-6 with a career-low 2.57 ERA and 170 strikeouts in only 147 innings of work. Wheeler has turned into a reliable innings eater for the Phillies, pitching into the sixth inning or later in 20 of his 22 starts this season. Last time out, he tossed seven S innings of four-run ball in a win over the Washington Nationals. My betting advice for that game is to pick Philadelphia Phillies minus 1.5. Boston Red Sox vs Toronto Blue Jays. The Red Sox showed signs of defensive life in Saturday's doubleheader. It was much needed after watching them get blown to smithereens by the Blue Jays' offense in the opener. Granted, the Red Sox did come away with at least one victory in the two-game contest, but it still doesn't change the fact that something is wrong with their offense. They aren't piling on the scoreboard, and they're clearly struggling to get runners across home plate. The team also just lost J.D. Martinez. It's going to be a problem with the team going head-to-head -head with Hyun Jin Ryu on Sunday. Toronto's left-handed ace dominated when he last ran into them at Fenway Park. Garrett Richards, on the other hand, has been gifting runs to opponents in his recent starts. That'll continue to be the case against a Blue Jays team that ranks among the league's most explosive offenses. Garrett Richards allowed three runs on five hits over four-plus innings in Tuesday's loss to the Tigers. Richards was knocked for solitary runs in the second, fourth and fifth innings of Tuesday's contest. He struck out five and walked two on the evening. My betting advice for that game is to pick Toronto Blue Jays, minus 1.5. Detroit Tigers vs Cleveland Indians. The Indians took the opening game of this series with a solid pitching performance from Quantrill, as he blanked the Tigers over seven frames. Plesak has pitched solid ball against the Tigers in his career and has been decent this season. Peralta has been a solid addition for the Tigers, but he's regressed since the All-Star break, which is something that had to be expected given his metrics. He's just 1-1 with a 5.23 ERA, a 1.548 whip, 11 walks and 11 strikeouts over 20.2 innings in four starts since that point. This has still been a positive season for the rebuilding Tigers overall, and Tyler Alexander looks like another bright spot as he turned in his best outing since moving from the bullpen to the rotation to lead Detroit to a win on Saturday. A sacrifice fly from Zach Short in the second and an RBI single by Akil Badu in the fifth proved to be enough offense as the Detroit pitching staff escaped several jams as Cleveland only managed one run on 10 hits. Cleveland had dropped three straight and four of five before coming up with a victory in the opening game of this set Friday night. The Indians entered Saturday second in the Owl Central, 9.5 games behind the White Sox for the division lead. In the Owl wild card picture, the team was 7.5 games behind Oakland for the second wild card berth. Emmanuel Clay fanned the only two hitters he faced, with the bases loaded, to record his 15th save. My betting advice for that game is to pick Cleveland Indians. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.